How's it going everybody? Hope you guys are doing amazing. My name is Nas from Clever Programmer and I'm one of the new instructors here. And today I want to take you through my seven years of coding of experience from my failures of being rejected by Google and Palantir and Twitter and Squarespace to then having worked with many different startups and many different companies and now actually doing freelancing and being able to charge clients uh, good money per month and and you know what and living a good lifestyle all right so it all starts out in 2012 back in high school it was 11th grade and I took my first web design class now back then we were doing using dream river so we were building very basic applications very simple websites and but you know what in the end they were very beautiful and it looked good all right, by the way, this video is sponsored by Dashlane. If you guys want to keep your passwords safe and secure and not have to remember any of those passwords to log in to Coursera or Udacity or any of those recruiting sites to apply for jobs like Google and Palantir and so forth, use the promo code below for 10% off. When you, when you sign up, you'll have 30 days of premium of Dashlane. Under 30 days, if you don't want to pay, you can still use the free version. You can sign up using the link in the description below. And continue to have your password safe and secure. In 2012 as well, I built my first personal website and it was called techhelp.org. And that website was made for to review technical products and to write blogs and, and at the same time just to learn how it is to learn coding. In 2013, I went ahead and I, and I did, that, did something crazy. On the sidelines, while still taking the same web design class that, from high school, I decided to completely redo the whole school's website as a surprise. I didn't tell anyone, I was doing it by myself, and I, in the end, I showed it to my teacher, and the teacher loved it, and we ended up actually deploying it, and then the school used this website for the next three years as their landing page. So in 2014, I, I joined college. And the thing is, that's when I realized that college in itself is not enough for you to later on go on and do work and to be, to be hired by companies like Google and to be hired by startups or to even learn in that, for that matter. So that's why in January of 2015, I decided to join a startup. In fact, I joined a creative, a creative computing club initially, and I saw these two guys, these two guys who were building some kind of application. So I asked them, what are you guys doing? They said, we're building an app. I'm like, that's amazing, can I join? So, all right, okay. So I asked them if I could potentially work for free in return, they teach me and I can get experience for that time. Going through 2015 uh, was honestly one of the best years of my life, honestly. Uh, we were building a startup. We were, I was learning a lot of new skills. I was learning Django, I was learning Python, I was learning AngularJS, and so many other technologies that I was excited about, right? But the most part is I was working with a team as well. And it was working with a team, you get to build a really, some really cool applications. One of the applications we built was called Trendala. And that was an application that was literally curating um, clothing for people who are using it. So starting out in 2016, starting in 2016, I decided I wanted to get an internship. I had my experience, but I needed to do something with that experience, right? So I decided to apply for jobs. As I was working at the startup, I applied for, the first one I applied was Twitter. Applied for Twitter, got rejected in a month. Applied for Palantir, they uh, did, went through all the interviews, they flew me out to California, I did four rounds of interviews, got rejected by them too. Then I applied for Squarespace. I did Squarespace, I did a really cool project for them, right? In a couple of days, got rejected by them too. Then I applied for Google. I applied for Google, they flew me out to Cali, I did five rounds of interviews, and then I got rejected by those. But then finally, in 2016, I asked my friend who was working at a company called Urban Science. Now he, he introduced me to the, he gave my resume to the recruiter. The recruiter contacted me, and then right away, I got the internship in about a week. Yeah, so talk about the power of connections. That is the one of the most important things that I learned in this space. If you know someone, you're a lot more likely to get that 
that, that job or the internship or whatever else that you want. All right, through my second half of 2016, I was doing an internship with that company called Urban Science, right? Through them, I did three months, three months of very interesting work where I was working with a lot of data. I was actually building a, a program that was combining data from from databases that had millions and millions of rows, right? And then, interestingly enough, in that time, I decided to learn to, to, to learn machine learning on my own. I took a Udacity course for free, and I applied it to the actual project that I was doing with them. I applied it, and then I presented it. They loved it, and all of a sudden, I was on a different team. Let's forward to fall of 2016. Um, I got a new team. It was a software analytics intern. It was a lot more interesting. I was working with people who had master's degrees, who had PhDs, and I was doing very interesting work, working with Node.js and machine learning in Python. And honestly, it was one of the best times I've ever had. Now, through that time, right after that fall 2016, at the end of the internship, they actually gave me a full-time offer to start right after I finished college, which was amazing. January 2017, I finished my internship. I started something called a senior design class. And in a senior design class, you actually build a real project that's going to be used in the real world. And we built a project called Canvas. Well, it was a mimic of Canvas, maybe some of you might know. But this project was, was allow students to, to, to do assignments and courses, to create groups. And it was a very complicated project that involved many people, but it taught us a lot of things. Through May of 2017, I was finishing college. We finished that project, we turned it in, we got an A, which was great. And then I, I was supposed to start my, uh, my, my full-time job at Urban Science. But there was one issue. At the end of that college time, as I was supposed to start working, I had a friend who introduced me to a star that he was working at. And he told me, hey man, we got a job here. If you want it, you got it. So I decided, I'm like, you know what, why not? I applied, I went for an interview, and about a week, I got an offer. So now I had two issues. The issue was one, either go to a startup or, or, or work at a bigger company, right? That already gave me an offer. And I just kind of took the leap of faith and I decided to work at a startup. I told the other company that I couldn't do it, I'm sorry, and I decided to go the path of working with a friend of mine at this startup called service.com. June of 2017. I am working at a startup, right? We are building this really cool application where we are connecting contractors and customers to get work done. At that time, I'm learning a lot of things. I'm learning AngularJS, I'm learning testing, I'm learning Django, I'm learning Django REST, and so much more. All right, so a year and a half goes by working at the company. I decided to do something different. I realized that there's something missing. I realized that I want to start doing freelancing. So, due to, so December of 2018, I put in my two weeks notice. And you know what? It was one of the best times I've ever had. Um, but literally, the CEO told me, listen man, I'm gonna tell you this, as a father, as a friend, and as a, fr and as a financial advisor, you're fucking nuts, you're fucking nuts, and you're fucking nuts. And you know what? It was okay, because he was right. <laughs> January 2019, I start freelancing. Interestingly enough, that company, my, the service.com, became my first client. They gave me a contract, I accepted it, and I was working with them for the next three months. And that was amazing, because that gave me like a head start on my contracting career, right? Throughout that, I go to conferences, I go to meetups, I meet people, and I land my second client, a real estate client, where we are doing another real cool application that has to do with the MLS. If you don't know, take a look at it. Forwarding to today, I have now had about four clients and I've done some amazing work. I've learned a lot, but it has been very tough. There is a lot of freedom, that I have a lot of freedom, I have to learn a lot, I have to do five different things, but you know what? I'm really excited for what I'm doing. And that is my seven years of coding experience. I hope you like it. Have a good day, everybody. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in learning how to become a freelance developer, we have a three-part masterclass for free that you can sign up using the link in the description below. 
You'll sign up, we'll send you the videos, and you'll be able to learn a lot and take your coding journey to the next level.